All right, so this is a quick little video about the Italian national chance. I managed to get the footage. This is David Pinazzoli, Pinazzoli, sorry, who's on a Trek Speed concept. He's riding for the Olo under 23 team. He's got a nice bike, nice position, deep front section wheel. Um, helmet is a bit questionable, but apart from that, it's decent. Um, bit of gap between the head and the and the helmet, not too bad. Radio on the back, that is not good. Should be on the front to minimize aeroness. Uh, then we've got this boy, Manilo Moro. Um, who finished fourth in the under-23s. His position is very different. A lot of head up, um, really, if he's not got his head down, like kind of can't see the head up. It does not look very error at all. You can see in slow-mo here as well. There wasn't too much footage from the under-23s, to be honest. Um, Davide Piganzoli managed to win. Um, I mean, it was a good, good position, to be fair. Fair enough. Must have done quite a lot of watts. Uh, and the results are coming up in a minute. Here we go. Piganzoli, Fayolo, Cometa, under-23, 44 minutes. Um, and then Monti... Monte Fiori, Olivo, and Moro uh, running out the top four. But anyway, we're going to go on to the women's next, um, which again doesn't have too much content. It's mainly the men's content. It's been annoying because the women's, they only filmed just a couple of them, uh, a couple of the, the races. So here was uh, Marta Cavalli, who's got an, on the Lapierre job. Uh, pretty nice bike. Looks like a revolver front wheel, I believe. Um, pretty nice setup. Here is Guazzini, who's on the same setup as well. They seem to race for Fiamma Oro, which is like the police, I think, or something. Uh, it's all a bit odd, but anyway, the actual team is that. Uh, and then we go to the winner, Lisa Longo Borghini, uh, riding on a trek. Has a really nice position on this, to be honest. Again, Cask Helmet, not a big fan of. Um, but the setup seems to be really good for Trek this year. They're winning a lot of TTs, doing well in a fair few of them. Uh, double chain ring for all of them. It was a mildly hilly course, um, arrow water bottle as well. But you can see from here, the position is pretty good and she's got a lot of watts, which I think is probably the big defining factor. Um, and there's the, she took the win quite easily ahead of Guazzini by 32 seconds and then Marta Cavalli ran out the podium uh, for a minute. We go to over to the men's. This is Filippo Baroncini, and you can see he is the champ. Uh, it was a road race champion for under twenty threes and second in the Europe Europeans. Um, he's got very nice position actually. I really like how close his head is to his hands. Um, he still looks like you can see a bit again on the axis stuff. Um, very slow chain, unfortunately for the boy, about two or three watts slower than a dual race chain. Um, but apart from that, it's not too bad. He's on the, the double ring. This is Tiberi doing some very aggressive cornering again. Um, this is mainly just going to be comments on positions and uh, tech. Most of the track team is pretty standard. Again, you can see his position is slightly different here to Barry, but it's not too far off. I guess, you know, trying to get his hands as high as possible um, due to the dodgy UCI rules, but they're changing a little bit, which will be exciting. I might make a video about how that will change. Here's DeMarkey, super good position on the new factor Hanzo. I really like how the HJC helmet bends into his back. Uh, so yeah, it's really good position. They're normally pretty optimized, the Israel guys, if they're into time trialing um, with Dowsett and the rest around them. Here's second place, Matteo Capitano. Um, he's got the Aero Coach 100mm front wheel, specialized again, really sought out their sponsored teams with good aerodynamics. And you can see he's got the custom extensions. I believe these are speed bars and his position is super, super dialed. It's interesting to see that all of the specialized guys don't run the visor. They just wear some sunglasses, um, which are, must be faster in their view. Here's Eduardo Affini, the, again, Yumbo Visma, super dialed. He's on the Vision Integrated Bar and Stem on the Cervelo P5. Again, Aerocoach 100mm front wheel, which again, I think is something that you can gain from this is that having a really deep front wheel is a massive gain. Uh, and here's Catania going towards the end. And here's Pip Bogana, the guy who won. Really solid position, as always, from him on his new disc brake bike. You can see here his position is rock solid. He looks just so like his head is so close to his hands, um, back completely straight. It really is a, a, a marvel of a position. I think in, having seen this position now on TV, I think it probably isn't as different as it seems. He's wearing the dodgy um, arrow, like, I don't know how to call it, arrow under vest or something. So it creates the um, dimples on it and lines, um, which are banned from the UCI being external, like you have to have them underneath um, because they don't allow ridges. But you can see here again, super nice position. We spent a long time on Ghana. His pedaling action is very fluid. He has a high cadence. It really is something to behold. Um, I believe he's on the Princeton Carbon Works rims. He doesn't have an air water bottle. It's quite far down. If you think how high the Trek one was up, it was trying to sort of close the early triangle um, between the seat, seat tubes, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> down tube and um, head tube uh, and but this is actually really low next to the pedaling which i think probably may more may make more sense because the air's already quite disrupted there but obviously it's just different different designs for each time trial bike and here comes mateo sobrero again giant have a really dialed tt bike and they spent a lot of time uh, his position is also unbelievable but unfortunately for him sobrero couldn't recreate the form that he had last year and win uh, from, from this head-on shot you can really see how 
narrow he is, how tight his shoulders are, um, and how close the helmet is. And you think this is at the end of a 40 minute effort. So it really is unbelievable how good they are at holding their time trial positions. He's got the uh, pen, he's got the HP adaption, uh, what's it called? It's integrated bar and stem. Um, well, the stem is like a 3D custom printed one. Uh, which from Australia and here comes people Ghana giving a nice little interview and then we'll see the results after this in which Ghana won uh, by about 30 seconds ahead of Mateo Kiatanyo. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. It has been rapid going through the tech used in the Italian national championships. See you in the next one.